Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to Armored Warfare Tiger 262. And today I just wanted to cover the battle path, Age of Rage. You can see my profile before you. And the reason I wanted to cover it is because I was seeing some people talk about it. Armored Warfare just released their community contributors' opinions on it and how they feel like all these changes are really positive. It's not as grindy as the first one. It's more intuitive. It's easier to rank up. It's easier to... They released all this on the same day that they released all their new booster sales, which I haven't bought any, but you can win them. They're going to be these little things here, the Battle Plane Boosters, which gives you 900% increase for two hours. Um, my average Battle Coin is about like 10, 15 per random battle, uh, maybe 5 per PvE encounter. And so I use one of the free ones that they give you to try them out. And it does increase it significantly. For the two hours, I was making an average of 150, 200 Battle Coins per match. However, they are no longer releasing like boost. Well, these are the boosters, but in the original one, you could just like buy them or like buy missions for them. This is going to replace that. And of course, you can always purchase them for gold. And the reason to bring that up is because despite everybody saying it's not as grindy, it's really intuitive or more fun uh i want to say i personally feel like it's exactly the same it is just as grindy i've been grinding some of the missions you can see here um they are more fun they're easier and for the ones that are really hard i just choose not to do them because the only thing you win are skins so the reason i like that and i agree with the uh community contributor or content creators is that if you don't want to do these missions, like last game you had to, or last battle path rather, sorry, you had to do each mission in a row to get one of the event vehicles. They've changed it so now, it's just skins. And like I've mentioned before, I think that's really great because I don't need to do this. I don't need skins. Now, they do give you uh, battle coins, each one you complete to help rank up. But I still don't think that if you do all the missions, all nine of them, or sorry, <laughs> not all nine, <laughs> all 18 of them, then you'd have enough to go all the way. I don't think so, and I think that's why you need the boosters. And the reason I bring that up is because uh, even though you get a little bit of mis personal missions, you complete one of these, you get 1,500 battle coins, and when you do, it gives you 2,000. So you can do that an unlimited amount of times. You get one of these each week, and then you get one of these each day. This gives you 125. This gives you 1500 at the end of the week. But doing all those, I don't think it'll give you enough to finish. But I'm not entirely sure. So to me, while the missions are more fun, I feel like Armored Warfare and people are getting confused with the fact that more fun and completing missions faster translates into being more intuitive and easier to do. And I don't think that's true, and I think it's going to be very grindy to complete this. But just for that sake, I wanted to do a little experiment because I did all of this this week. So I went from about 2,000 battle points to 20,000 one week completing missions. And I want to see just how far can 20,000 battle coins get you. Now, I'm starting from rank 10. So if you're already here, great. If you're not this probably won't apply to you because you'll probably get way past this with 20,000. But for me, and for the purpose of this video, starting at rank 10, I'm just going to unlock all of the things I can and see. And so it looks like, yeah, it's going to be 3,300. I get a new mission to complete. So, so far we've gone up. We did half of them, did 10,000 battle coins, got us three ranks. So altogether, what six ranks that's it that's really not in my opinion that great all right i don't even know what that just was credits how much credits are that one million that's it one million credits wow that's great so for and this is my point to move up just six ranks it cost 20 thousand battle coins 
So I definitely don't believe, now that I've done that, that there will ever be enough. I mean, we went from, we went up, yeah, six, that's it, to 16. So there's no way you're going to be able to, even if you complete all 18 missions and do all the weekly and daily missions, you will ever get enough battle points to get to, say, something like the BWP or the Object 490. And so for the people that already have it, I can guarantee you they're either using the boosters nonstop or what's more likely is they're just spending gold. And so for me, this is exactly the same as the last battle path. If you buy into it, you spend a lot of money, that's it. I don't think they personally saw, or I personally don't think that they solved any problems from the last one, which of course, if you remember, people nailed it down that you could unlock everything if you completed the missions. But you had to spend, I think, 14 hours a day, every day of the battle path to do it, on average, for average players. Uh, this, yeah, the missions I can do, maybe I just did two missions today alone, in one day. But I could do all of them and never, ever get to rank 50. And so instead of making it impossible to do by time, they made all the missions easy to do but did not change any of the mechanics or the actual battle coins, at least not that I could see. And so I think it's just as grindy as the first one. But, you know, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep trying. There's 61 days left, about two months, and I'm going to try to get the BWP and do a review on that for you guys. Or at least get some other really interesting things. But let me know what you think about the new battle path. If you're doing it, if you're enjoying it, let me know in the comment section below. I do love to hear from you guys and your opinions. On the matter, I just don't think anything changed. But I could be wrong. Maybe you're experiencing a little bit different. Maybe you already got up to rank 50 and you're doing just fine. Let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, it goes a long way to showing me that you want to see more Armored Warfare content at the very least. And if you do, please subscribe to the channel to get notified when I make the follow-up video to this one or to see any of my other old Armored Warfare videos. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.